Hi, this is the uh, April 23rd, 2024 meeting of LNA. Uh, I'm calling us to order. Um, we have our agenda to look at, and we also have uh, LNA has two items that are with us uh, hanging over from previous meeting. Uh, one is uh, revisions to uh, proposed revisions to the ethics ordinance, which are not before us tonight. Those are not ready for us yet, so we're not discussing those. And the other is we had some questions as a committee about, uh, uh, and I'll get to a, a roll call in a sec. We had uh, questions as a committee um, regarding the uh, the uh, proposed changes to the senior and disabled tax relief. Uh, and I believe Ross uh, Murray is joining us tonight. I'm not sure he's on the call. Ross, are you on the call right now? I am. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Um, so, um, Pierre, are you on the call? I am. Would you do roll call, please? Sure. Uh, I'm just going to do it in uh, alphabetical order. Ken Astrida. Here. Carrie Bertram. Justin Contrado. Josh Garshoff. Here. Michelle McCabe. Here. Uh, Pierre Ratsky, I am here. Jeff Steele. Yeah, I'm here. And Karen Wackerman. Here. Thank you. Thank you, Pierre. All right, so I would propose that we do uh, this uh, uh, ethics, our questions about the ethics, I'm sorry, about the uh, senior tax relief uh, ordinance first, since we have a town uh, employee here with us, and then we can get to our regular meeting. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, I'll open it up to any questions. I know there were a, a couple related to uh, suggested change two, um, and I believe Justin was the one asking those. Does anyone want to ask that question, or, or would you like me to, to do it? Yeah, Josh, it's Ken. Do you mind? Do you mind asking? I'm assuming it's the yeah. same one that I have, but I just want to make sure that you're asking what I what I wanted. Yeah, I'm just. I, it's not my question, so I'm just trying to repeat what I think I heard, which oh. was uh, that that the suggestion change two would would uh, change the the um, the the qualifying total asset value from the date of application to the end of the preceding calendar year. Uh, and I think we understood that that would make sense for, in terms of like when people uh, round up their taxes and, and have a number and, and also for um, processing times and all that. But I think the question, if I heard it right, was what happens if something happens to a person or a family after the end of the previous calendar year and before the application for uh, tax relief, how, how would that play out and, and, and would there be anything that the town could do to resolve a problem? Like if somebody had a major tax, a uh, major medical uh, bill or some other financial crisis. Did I get that? Ken, is that what you were thinking too? That, that was not my specific question, but okay. I do believe that question was, was asked and I think you got it correctly based okay. on my memory. Thank you. Uh, Ross, what do you, what do you think about that? Does that make sense as a question? Yeah. I, and, and you had sent that to me before and I appreciate it. Um, you know, it, it certainly could happen. I think it's a pretty narrow case. I don't think it would be very likely. It would have to be somebody that was close to the 650 to start and then have an expense that was occurred in the first five and a half months before they applied um, that would take them below the 650. So I, I think it's a pretty rare circumstance. Um, I, 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 I think the ease of application and determining when that 650 is is uh, would outweigh that. Okay. Uh, may I ask a follow-up question? Please. This is Michelle McCabe, uh, District 4. Um, Ross, would it be possible if we, for example, were to make the change that you suggest in terms of the year, um, the close of the calendar year, but allow for an appeal if by some chance some devastating circumstance might have happened to somebody and that way at least if that one in a million chance it does happen, there is some recourse for that person or family? Yeah, I, I don't know how an appeal process would work 
I mean, I, that's been brought up um, in general about the whole program, you know, uh, basically to allow exceptions to the, the ordinance. Uh, it's never been completely flushed out, but that has been discussed having an, a, an, a, some sort of appeals process in place. I mean, you know, a similar thing can happen with income. You know, if a, if a spouse passes away and they lose that spouse's Social Security, their income has, has changed. Right. And then they, you know, they, they unfortunately can't reapply with that lower income until the following year. That, yes, and I think that's the, you just e explained what I, if I'm understanding correctly, that's exactly the concern with um, setting the, well, though, I guess what you're saying is the application deadline is what the application deadline is. And so that's why the look back um, makes sense at a very specific time, correct? Right. And it's, it's exactly how we do it with income. Yeah. We're, we're looking at last year's income. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Any other any other uh, comments or questions about this particular uh, question? Hearing none, does anyone else have something they want to raise or ask Ross? Yeah, Josh, it's Ken Asterita, uh, District 1. Ross, the question that I had was with respect to changing the age um, from from 60 to 50, what is the rationale for that? Okay, and that, that age is in reference to a surviving spouse. Um, and yep. currently that's the same, the, the guideline for the state is 50. So if they're on the state program, you can be a surviving spouse at 50 years old, um, but you could potentially not qualify for the town program. So if you had a... So really, this is uh, just... Go ahead. Yeah, it's to yeah, it's to bring it in line with the state and make it consistent with the state program. And right now we have nobody that's actually in that group. So this wouldn't change anything to the current um, population. What have, have we looked at? What you know, potential additional liability? I mean, because that's really like my my only concern is you know, open the opening the theoretical floodgates. I guess. Uh, I, I, I think you're looking at a drip. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. You know, it's, you'd, you'd have to have, um, it would be, you know, a, a married couple that um, was already qualified getting the program and the yeah. spouse, the older spouse passes away. Um, and the, the younger spouse would have to be in that 50 to 65 range. It's a very, very small group. Like I said, we have about 1,200 people on the program right now, and there's nobody in that category. So, you know. Okay, all right. I, I didn't realize that there were that many taking advantage. Not, okay. Yeah. yeah, you're not talking about very okay. many. So this is really kind of prevent somebody from falling off the program that's already been on and that happens to fall in that, that, that narrow range. Okay. All right, anything else? With and, I'm good, Josh. No. Uh, anyone good. else have any other? Go ahead. Anybody else have any? No, other Josh. Questions I said I'm for fine. Ross? Okay, thank you. Any, anyone else have any other questions for Ross? Okay, hearing none. Thank you so much, Ross, for coming, and uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, really helpful. You're welcome. Anytime. Thank you. I'm uh, glad we thank finally uh, got it all together. Yep. All right. Um, okay. Turning back to, uh, I would propose that we take this item right now and, and uh, I'll be, accept the motion to uh, move this out to the full RTM if anyone would like to make that motion. <clears throat> or if anyone wants to discuss more, that would be fine too. Josh, this is Ken. I'll, I'll make the motion to approve it. I'm, I'm satisfied with, the, with both those responses. Thank you. Could I have a second? I'll second, second it. I heard, <laughs> okay. I heard Karen. I heard Karen. Okay. Any other discussion on this before we vote? Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 
Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, thank you. That brings us back to our main agenda items for the night. Um, first on what I'm seeing here is the uh, H. Smith Richardson Conservation Trust Fund, the movement of money. Can I have a motion on that item? I'll move to approve it, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Can I have a second? Mm -hmm. Pierre, I'll second. Thank you, Pierre. Any discussion on this item? Hearing none, it's an all unusual, those in favor. I'm just going to oh, comment, it was an unusual use of that trust fund. It's kind of surprising to me, but I said what I needed to say in the meeting, so. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think it is supposed to be accumulating to a big enough number where we could actually purchase land or something, right? That's the idea. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So hopefully they can find the money for this type of thing elsewhere next time, but definitely a good purpose. Did Bill say... Anybody else? And this is Ken. Yeah, Josh, this is Ken, by the way. Did, did Bill say, based on some of the comments that Mark had made that we may not need to approve this or am I mixing this up with with another item no I, I think, think you're right yeah I, I my guess is I think that the RTM approves land acquisitions and in the past yeah that's usually how this money has been used so I think maybe people thought that we had to approve this but Mark yeah. was saying we might not need to yeah so I, I think I, I think what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to abstain because I, I, cause I'm interested in, in, in kind of uh, seeing if there's any follow-up to Mark's suggestion of maybe using ARPA funds. Uh, I, I think that may be a more appropriate usage. That's just, that's, that's my take. Not, yeah. not that the project isn't worthwhile. It's just the source of the funding. But it's did also they, questionable they whether or not, whether or not this has to be, um, this has to be approved by us because it is, if not, you know, going to purchase of land, it is still conservation related. So this could be a legal question. Is it something we have to approve um, let, aside from what Ken just brought up? So I think it's kind of two faceted. Yeah. And, and if we, if we, if it does come before us next week and we do not vote it forward and we say we'd rather see this come out of ARPA, I think, he may miss the planting season by the time it right. comes through channels, right? That's the downside. I think you're right. It would have to start all over again with, with the Conservation Commission and whoever. Um, yeah. So I guess I'd be in favor of, assuming this is something that we're going to vote on, I guess I'd be in favor of re repeating our comment, you know, Karen and, and Mark's comments, you know, that this is not really how we would like to see this money spent, that we're going to let it go this time, but that this is a, a loud and clear kind of sense of the body that this is not what we'd like to do in the future. That would be my, that would be my vote. I, I imagine too that at the table we can most likely request that the money that was taken in the vote that were so that we don't miss the planning season that they can actually allocate ARPA dollars to replenish the fund. Mm. I don't know yeah, these are all good questions we can ask. So we yeah, have seen and asked these questions. Yeah. Right. That's a good point. Okay. It's only Any other? Twenty thousand too. So it's not. Yeah. You know, if it was a lot more money, I'd be more concerned. But. Any other I mean, discussion? This is a yeah. This is a, yeah. Just a question for the group, based on what Michelle's comment. Could we could we at the meeting next week basically? Uh, amend this to to approve it with subsequent funding to be replaced by ARPA? I mean, could could we, is that a possibility? I think it I would mean, have to go through all those other boards because ARPA, ARPA money had to be approved by the, the selectmen and by us. Also, I'm, I mean, I'm not, definitely not an attorney, but it seems to me that ARPA cannot be used to replenish accounts. Like ARPA, you need to spend ARPA on stuff, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. That's true. Yeah, at the very least, we, we don't have that answer, and we can't I, – I don't think we just take action right now, but we can discuss this next week or find out beforehand. Yeah. All right, any other discussion on this item? Hearing none, all those in favor? Say aye. 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 Any opposed? Oh. Okay, can, 
Uh, maybe say <laughs> name I, for I. So. Uh, I guess, yeah, so some people are going to abstain pending getting more information, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mean. So I'm trying to get, uh, yeah. can people say, who want to, who are in, in favor of this, can you just try to say your name so PR can get them? Uh, Karen is an I. Myself. Oh, is that it? Michelle, you're yeah. not? Yeah, okay. no, I made a mistake, I was too eager. <laughs> okay. A anybody against this? Okay. So then everybody else is an abstention. Thank you. I'm going to change mine to. I'm going to change mine to an abstention too. Actually, I I do want to okay. get those answers. Is that, okay, so we're unanimously abstaining. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm changing mine as well. <laughs> okay. Okay. Great. All right. Thank you, everybody. So we're moving on to the next item, which is the uh, the five year bu the bus for the senior center. Can I have a motion on this? I move to approve. Thank you. And a Karen. second. Michelle Ken, second. Rita, I'll second it. I think Michelle beat you, Ken. You can take it. Um, yeah, you can take it, Michelle. You, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I already have. All right. Any, dis any discussion on this item? Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, moving on. Thank you. We now are on the SBA donation uh, for, for the Four Corners project. Can I have a motion on this? Don't I move. move to approve. I didn't know who they oh. who who just spoke. Uh, Pierre did the motion to me. And okay, Pierre no, motion. Who was the second? Member Wackerman. Michelle okay, was. Got it. Michelle, Michelle sorry. Oh, Michelle. <laughs> All right. Any discussion on this? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Thank you. All right, now we have, how do you want to handle this? Do you want to combine these? What do you want to do? I'm in favor yeah, of combining them. Combining them. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, let's it's a lot that. of money, but it's all, it's all necessary money that has to be spent. So I don't really yeah. think we got a lot of choice here. Yeah, so we need a motion to combine? Yeah, six, seven, Eight, six through, mm -hmm. nine, right? Yeah. Ten, thirteen, maybe. Eleven. Okay. Yep. Six through thirteen. Can I have a motion to combine six through thirteen for the purposes of just moving along here? I'll move that. This is Ken Astorita. I'll, I'll I'll second it then. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, any discussion on these combined items? Uh, we all are in favor of that, I think, right? Everyone in favor of that? Yeah. Um, thank yeah, you. It's just, uh, it's, it's, it has to be done. Yeah. Any yeah. any discussion on uh, on these items? Okay. Yeah. All those in favor of the, of all these items, six through uh, thirteen. Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Any abstentions? Okay. Thank you. Item fourteen is the Tidegate Repair Project. Um, could I have a motion on this one? I'll move to approve that. Thank Karen. you, Karen. And a second? Mm -hmm. I'll second. Did I get a second? Okay, thank you, uh, Michelle. Uh, any discussion on this item? I feel like they, keep, they talk they... about Tidegate repairs the whole nine, year, nine years I've been on the RTM. We've been talking about <laughs> Tidegate repairs. I'm not sure any have been done yet. <laughs> but we did just vote for one recently, didn't we? Yeah, I think we did, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, any other discussion on this? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, item 15 is the traffic, civil, traffic signal improvement project. Uh, can I have a motion on this one? I'll make the motion, Michelle. Thank you. And a second? I'll, I'll second it. Thank you. Any discussion on this item? I just want to say I'm really excited about this one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Does anyone remember the number? We don't have that many 
traffic signals that are actually owned by the town, right? Most said, of them are. Yeah, right. Yeah, I think you said 15, I think. Hmm. 15 okay. or 16. I missed that. Um, okay, any other discussion on this? Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, thank you. Moving on, we are now on the sidewalk accessibility upgrades. Can I have a motion? I'll move so to moved. approve. I'll second. Okay. Thank you. Um, any discussion on this item? Uh, I, I would just like to say I think this is really important. Um, you know, as I expressed during the meeting, I think the sidewalks, um, you know, throughout the town, but particularly, you know, in our district here in 10, are really in a, a sad state and really impediments to pedestrian activity. So I think it's really good that this is getting done. Yeah. Agreed. Anything else, anybody? Okay, all those in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? All right, thank you folks. I think that does it, unless did I miss anything? Are we all good? No, I'm good. Nope. I think we're good. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Josh. Motion to adjourn. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, guys.